Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Design. I am so sorry it has all of a sudden gotten dark. I don't know what happened. I'm even opening this window. The blinds, it's not getting any lighter. So I have got heavy lights on all over in here. I hope this is going to be bright enough. I am back. Um, I have been diligently working, getting everything finished up for the camp next week. I'm so excited, guys. Just wow. Um, I hope you guys will come and watch. Even if you don't haven't signed up, you are still welcome. I've got two kits. It would take a while to get them out. And I mean, I mean, we'd mail them today, but I'm just saying, um, you may not get them in time for the first day of camp, but you would probably have it by the second day and you could join in, um, and go back and watch day one. And then, um, I also can email anyone throughout the world, um, you don't have to be in Texas. You just have to be subscribed to the channel 18 years or older. And I will gladly email you out all the printables. So I am super, super, super excited. Um, now I've got to figure out how I can get my stuff printed. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. My daughter is going over to my son and daughter-in-law. So I hmm, don't know. She's checking on their dogs. Hmm. Hmm. I may have to see if they can print it. If not, I've got another option. Okay. See, this is what happens when you know everybody who's traveling. <laughs> you can just call them and say, hey, while you're there, could you do this? <laughs> I know. It's so bad. Anyways, oh, I am so excited, guys. I um, It's just such a blessing. It's not 100% complete preparation, but it is so far down the field that... Um, if I can, I'm going to send out a second email of printables. I mean, I'm telling you, it's, I don't even know if this one can send so far. There's so many, but I mean, besides what came in the kit. So for everyone who's received a kit and emailed me or messaged me, thank you. Thank you. Thank you to let me know you got your kit. You just don't know how much I pray about those kits, pray over those kits, make sure they get there on time, make sure they get there safe and sound. Um, we really, ch I really try to wrap them in a way that they will survive, Lord willing. And so, um, but I am super, super, super excited. Um, I, um, I just can't say enough how much God is teaching my heart. And I am praying for each one of y'all that God is preparing your hearts as we get ready to go through this, as well as preparing mine, because my heart where it is right now in preparation will be different throughout the camp. And, it's amazing how God does that, and I will ask you guys to please pray, pray a hedge of protection around all of us who will be participating so that we will not be distracted. And yesterday, I was literally sitting down to write. Something happened, and it just completely unrailed the preparation. And I was just talking to a friend about that, and I, I was just in shock how easily we can get derailed. So please be in prayer for all of us. Everyone, let's pray for each other. Okay, speaking of praying, let's go ahead and get started. But before we get started, I have this sitting out. I received this from the Voice of the Martyrs. If you guys don't know what the Voice of the Martyrs era is, it's an amazing ministry that supports Christians in places um, where it's illegal, um, where um, people are going into the deepest, darkest places, and they are sharing the good news, the gospel. So there is a, I believe... I want to think this is free. I have not officially signed up yet, but I'm going to. And um, it is called heartsevent.com. It is free. Register for free now, heartsevent.com. And there are all these different speakers. Michael W. Smith will be doing the worship music. Um, and that's a pretty um, substantial <laughs> worship leader. And then you've got Gracia, Gracia, what a name. I love that name. Gracias is what I think, but Gracia Burnham. She was held captive in the Philippines as a, as a, um, and these are all people who are in the field sharing the good news. Um, Anita Smith, her husband was martyred in Libya. Helen Bernhain imprisoned in, in Eritrea. I don't know where that is. So if anybody knows, leave it below. I mean, I will look it up, but I mean, in case, just for the rest of us. And then Susan, Susanna Kaw, husband was abducted in Malaysia. So we need to pray for Susan's husband as well. Um, we need to pray for the people who are putting this on. It is in July, I believe. Hold on. Um, yes, jo Friday, July 14th at 7 p.m. Eastern. So I am super excited. I am going 
to um, uh, sign up for this. I'm looking here, register your family, watch from wherever you are. When you register to host this inspiring event at your church, you will receive the following resources. So if you are a church leader and your pastor should be totally thrilled to have this, um, here is um, what you would receive as a host guide, a downloadable host guide, um, customizable promotional materials, streaming access through the end of September, and a free book offer for everyone who attends. Wow, that's amazing. Bonus, free access to the newly released Sabina Group Study, featuring up to seven weeks of content for use by your church as a discipleship tool after the event. Wow, guys. Um, definitely um voice of the martyrs is this amazing ministry that really um loves the lord serves the lord and is there for all of those that are in the deepest darkest places this is their whole ministry is to um to serve those in the field and serve those who's lost lost loved ones that were serving jesus in the field so um their ministry is invaluable. It is invaluable. So um, let me read this really quickly and then we'll move on. It says, um, Hearts of Fire virtual event. Be inspired by four courageous women who showed incredible conviction and commitment to Jesus Christ in the face of intense opposition. Hear their powerful testimonies, powerful testimonies of faith and enjoy worship music with Michael W. Smith. So, this, I just wanted to share again, I'm going to hold this up, heartsevent.com. If I forget to put it below, you've got it right there, hearts, so here there's an S, event.com. So, you know, there's something I wanted to share. I'm going to put it right here because I got to get signed up for that because that is amazing. And that is in between all of our trips. And even if I were on a trip, I would find a way to download that event, um, save it somehow, and I would watch it while we travel or when we got there, however it would be. Um, so I just want you guys to know that things like that are such an encouragement to us, encouragement to those who have been in the field, who are in the field, who are being captive in the field. This is our opportunity to support that ministry who supports so many important people. And if you sign up for Voice, uh, uh, I think it's The Voice of the Martyrs, yeah, The Voice of the Martyrs, you will get a an, a monthly, um, I wish I, I think I have it near me, but I'm not sure, um, a monthly um, magazine with all kinds of information in it and of ways we can pray, ways we can support. So that is a great thing. Um, all right, so let's pray and let's get started. We, uh, before we get started, hold on one second. We are going to do this week's lesson. I'm going to try to do last week's lesson. If not, I will do it tomorrow. Um, we have had whew, nonstop calls, nonstop things going on today, which are all good. It's all good to God be the glory. We have worked really hard on different things. We're getting ready to get rain again. So I may run out and try to throw some seeds in the ground um, in a different area. My husband and I were looking last night at the weather and we are getting ready to hit 100 degree days. So I want to get this stuff seeded while we can get God's water. <laughs> God's water is much better than anything that comes out of a hose, even if it's rainwater. So I'm just going to say I'd love to get those seeds, more seeds in the ground, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, now let's pray. Ah, oh, dear Lord, thank you so much for today, God. Thank you so much for such a productive day, a day that whew, we could just serve you. Thank you for the conversations today that all of us have had, the people that we get to meet, the people we get to talk to, the people we get to love, those that are having difficult days, good days, on and on and on. Lord, help us to be an encouragement to others. Help me to be an encouragement. Um, help me to recognize that I need to be an encouragement always to everyone, not just to those that I meet formally out. And then I need to be an encouragement in my home as well, in my workplace, in my different things that I participate in, my church, my my um, my Bible studies, etc. God, um, with my family, my extended family. Lord, help me seek your will and your way. Help my friends to do all the same, to be that encouragement in all the different areas of their life, um, to seek your will and your way in their lives. And God, help us to praise you, praise you, and thank you always for all the good, good things that you're doing, and to even thank you for the difficult things. 
Lord, as I hear the thunder rolling outside, I thank you for the rain. I thank you that it will cool this. It's already cooled this house down, and I just cannot thank you enough. And Lord, as I have a little bit to finish up, um, I thank you. I thank you that the bulk of the work is done. The last um, bit that I'll be finishing up will be tweaking. And I pray, God, that you just put a passion in me to dig into that word and to prep every second of every day. Lord, we praise you. We thank you. We love you. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen. Okay, friends, I am excited. Okay, so we are on week four this week. Um, I am not going to, hold on, let me see. So we are going to write, and you guys, if you had time, and I totally understand, we can get busy, get totally sidetracked, to make a list, uh, name a gift from God that's yours right now, say a prayer of thanks. So we're going to make a list of gifts that God has given each of us. All right, I'm getting all that out of the way. I'm opening, I'm going to set this to the side, and we'll get the craft stuff done first. So whenever magazines come in the mail that I can use, because this journal is going to go quick, um, or just have it there as a backup, I grab them and I stick them in. And this is one from, I want to think, Hope. Um, yeah, Show Hope. So this is Stephen Curtis and Mary Beth Chapman's ministry. And this has to do with forever families, special needs, international adoption, etc. So all kinds of adoption. And we absolutely love them, love them way, way back, um, loved his music first, of course, and then we love them and all the good things that they've done. But when this, um, they opened an orphanage in China, you know, that was a huge, like, ooh, you know, how can we support them? And um, it was, it, it, and it is a blessing beyond our words. So um, I am excited to, when I get these books, you get to see all the beautiful families and the ways you can support. But look at all of these beautiful, oh, it makes me cry, all these beautiful families that are coming together. As these people serve God, and they love people. So I just can't tell you enough how much I appreciate this ministry. Okay, yes. That's a little personal, but sorry, guys. Oh, you know, when you have uh, family adoptions and, you know, and then your own child is adopted and all the good things in life, it is just a blessing. So, all right, here we go. Couldn't remember there what was the front, what was the back. So, all right, guys, I planned to cover half of this page, and I will save that for our week four and I'm trying to decide, I think I'm going to use this page, and I will tell you why. So I'm going to use half this page, and then the other half I'm going to cover, because it's beautiful, it's lovely, it's all that. So I think I'm going to work on this side, and leave these beautiful young ladies, and yes, this is a some kind of a catalog I was sent, that has um, just beautiful young ladies, um, their clothes, etc. And so I don't know how I got sent this because I'm telling you right now, I'm sitting here in my Walmart jeans and my Christian t-shirts. <laughs> yes, I'm honest. I am always honest to a fault. All right. So I'm trying to decide if I want to do something like that. Ooh, I do kind of like that somehow, but I think I'm going to wait on that. Wait, that's the other side. Ooh, maybe. Mm. Oh, I love that. Okay, winner, winner. Guys, I literally don't plan these until I sit down with y'all and I literally just ask God as I touch the pile, show me his way. So I love this. I hope you guys do. I want, And I'm going to tell you why I'm going to keep these beautiful girls. Um, God, you know you're getting old when you call the beautiful girls girls, okay? Yeah, you're getting older. Okay. <laughs> it's okay it's okay we're all older it's okay all right hang with me i'm gonna try i think i think i packed everything down there that's okay um i have my basket here for bible journaling camp and i started loading it with some of my things so 
I think I'm just going to need to use glue today and let it go, baby. Let it go. All right. I just have to decide I want that that way. Or I think I like it that way. Okay. Here we go. I am going to keep this so simple because I do not want you guys to feel like, ah, oh, this is, this is too difficult. I don't get what she's doing. This is silly. Okay. So right now I'm going to put a little bit of glue on there and then I'm going to come to the edge of the page and I'm just going to put glue up there. Okay. So, and I don't want to get it off the page or the pages will stick together. Yes. You knew it. I knew it as soon as I did it. Okay. All right, so now with glue, you got a little play. So you just have to decide how far do you want to go. I'm good. Okay, and I absolutely love those colors together. I don't know why, but wow. And then when I use this other on top, this blue, doesn't that just pop with that? I know. I mean, it's a scrap. I'm using a scrap piece of paper that somebody would normally throw away. So use what you have. Don't go out, buy things. Use what you have. How many of you in your scrap piles have tons? And I was just putting together the camp newsletter. And by the way, you don't need to go buy paper. There's all kinds of paper you can download online. If you want to print your own paper, if you have, if it's more cost effective, um, if you, um, there's even free paper. I know. And I'm telling you, I have a lot of paper that I print. This just, remember, this is a kit that I just found. It was such a blessing as I was packing some things out and I was thrilled to find it. So I'm just gonna put that little bit of glue back there. I don't know. I think I'm just going to glue lightly on this because I don't want it to be too wrinkled. Um, I'm just gonna kind of go for that outline, if that makes any sense, because I won't be writing there and then I'm just going to kind of lightly spread it over here um, because I will be writing there. Okay, now, if you want to glue more, glue more, okay? Do it the way you want to do it. All right, I am so thankful. I love that. Now, you can cut this off or you can make a flap. I'm gonna make a flap. I like interactive things. Seriously, I just had planned to cut it a minute ago and realized, nope, I think I want to make a flap. So, all right, now, you can use anything. You can use scissors to flatten that out to make it creased and nice. You can use a bone folder. You can use your fingernails, okay? Do not make it hard. Make it simple. Remember, the joy in this journey is the journaling. It does not have to be anything else okay now let me look through my scraps and see what else I'm gonna use in here I have stickers and I'm probably gonna put something across here no I think I know exactly what I'm gonna put across here and I don't know why I said across across here sorry <laughs> oh okay remember if you don't know my mother was an English teacher <laughs> and I will never forget the day my grandmother said you know, your mother taught you girls such good, you know, grammar. What a blessing that is. Do you know what lovely grammar you have? And I was like, no, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't have a clue. Seriously. Mm. I mean, I, you know, but it was just required. It was one of those things that was just required in our home as kids. So I am going to lift this up just a wee bit and put some flour under it and on top, yes, maybe. Um, all right, there we go. Kind of like it layered under and then over. I don't know why, <laughs> it's just me. Okay, so I want something on this, so hang with me. Um, ooh, I love that dress. Why not? Because that's what this is. Oh, it won't fit because the flowers, I don't think. Well, let me see. Oh, it might fit. Okay, so hang with me. It's going to fit, guys. It's fitting. It's fitting. All right. I love that. That is so... It's like almost like it was made for each other, right? Good in that. Oh, that would have been pretty there, too. 
Okay, so I am good with all this. I am done. Finito. It is ready to roll. Okay, hang with me. I got to get everything kind of closed back up and just set to the side. I am going to grab a pen, an inexpensive pen, and here we go. So we are on, I'm going to put four down here, lesson four, and I'm excited. Um, what I'm going to list here today, I just had a conversation about this. So name a gift from God that's yours right now. Say a prayer of thanks. So what I am going to list for me is friends. Um, now, you know, I wanted these beautiful girls to stay here. Um, I'm probably, once I get past, I'm going to clip this back down, but I'm going to put pictures of friends all up in here. And, and maybe I'll have like, you know, lots of collage little pictures. I'm not sure yet. So I am going to list my best friends. So I'm not going to list them with you, um, except for I will put them by letter. Does that make sense? I will put them by like their first, the letter of their first name. And then I will come back in afterwards and fill it in. And um, I said I was going to do five. I'll start with five. I'll leave it there, but I'm going to leave it there. So the first one is A. We're just going to call her A. The second one, and it's in no order. There's no first or second or last or best or not as best. It's all there. Okay, so I have another friend, D. L. Um, I am going to, I'm trying to decide how I do this. Um, do you ever have like couple friends? And so you kind of want to list them together. Um, I think, I think I may do that later. I may do a couple friends at the end, like do six through 10 that way. Um, so hold on. Um, let me think through here. Oh, I was going to say, I'll pull up my phone with all my texting. Um, I am going to list that friend and then I'm going to list, um, hold on. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, I do know. And then the rest of this, I'm going to list um, like couple friends. So for example, because I'm going to come back in and write the names, I'm going to put this. Okay, does that make sense? And then I'm going to put this. And then I'm going to put, um, let me stop and think. Because um, you know how you have your friends and your husband has his friends and Okay, are they really my, you know, like, you know what I mean? Are they my best friends? And I need to think about that. Um, hold on. Um, hang with the, oh, oh, I meant to put somebody else, but that's okay. Cause I can list the couple friend here and that still works. I'm totally happy with that. Um, so that's where I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop at eight, but it's really nine, 10, 11, 11. And these are the people that I would consider my closest confidants. Does that make sense? So I am so thankful, thankful for the gift of friends. So I'm going to put here, um, gifts, best friends, and I'm going to put of God. So I remember years ago, a friend that we became best friends, um, told me like I'd been praying for a friend my family's been praying for me a good friend, like a best friend. And, you know, I was like, what, what, what'd you say? And I thought about that and I thought, wow, what an honor that is. And, and she would tell me like, you're my answer to prayer. And, and it wasn't creepy. It wasn't weird. It wasn't goofy. I mean, if anything, I was creepy, goofy, goofy compared to her. She was so slick and polished and you know, such a lovely, just intelligent, and is a lovely, intelligent woman. And I just remember when she said that, I was like really taken aback. I had never thought about praying for friends. Um, my parents, when I grew up, it wasn't who was your friend. It was how many were your friends. Um, what we found out, and I, you know, they loved numbers. We loved quality of friendship. And so there was a difference there. And I remember at the end of their lives, people apologizing for not being there and people who they thought were their friends that weren't, um, people that were thieves, people that were, I mean, it was just, it was just crazy. 
and people wanted their stuff, but not support them, if that makes sense. And so I thought a lot about that. And as we go through our walk, let us purpose to be quality, a quality friend, a quality support, a quality um, good person. And, oh gosh, these, all these other friends are coming to mind now. And I'm thinking, oh, I didn't list. You know, I don't, I don't care. I'm just going to list them singularly. And, um, okay. And I'm going to wait on that last one because, yeah. No, well, I'm going to go ahead and put it. Okay. All right. So, um, there's still more I could list, but I'm stopping. I'm, oh, oh, oh gosh. I know. I, hold on. I got to put one more. Okay. And have a nickname, so I'm going to have to pray through if I'm going to put her nickname or her name. But these are people that I would consider to be my close friends, my supporters, my, um, gosh, I've already thought of another one. I can't, I have to put her. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to stop. All right. So nickname, we'll figure on that one. Okay. So I put a dozen plus some spouses in there that are still really good friends of ours. And I will just tell you that as we go through life, um, this person and I were talking today and, you know, we were talking about how little it is to be a friend, how little it is to be kind to someone, how little it takes to encourage somebody else and what a gift from God when he gives us those kinds of friends. Um, hold on. I think I've got an alarm going off. Let me dismiss it. There we go. Get it out of y'all's. If it's popping, I'm sorry. Um, but the amazing thing was like, literally we went and ate lunch Wednesday on the way home from the chiropractor. My husband and I have not been on a date since February and it was, we had such a great time and I'm so thankful to God for that time. And the thing was literally like I entered the, the waitress was so precious and so special and so sweet and we've never met her. And she like came up and I introduced us by name. And she didn't even tell us her name, you know what I mean? But we started talking so much. And I said, by the way, our names are. And then she was just like, oh, my name is, you know, and she gives her name. And I was just telling my friend that, you know, she gave me a hug. <laughs> you know, she gave me a hug. And she and they all came to the front door to wish us goodbye. The, the person who sat us, the person who didn't speak any English, who made the salsa for my husband with the grinding stone and the mortar and pistol. And it was just, it was one of those things where it takes so little to encourage others. I mean, literally on the way out, there was a table of military officers. My husband and I were chitty chatting about it as they went back and forth to the buffet. And I, you know, my husband got up. He wasn't even thinking. And I said, I, um... I said, thank you guys so much for your service. We so appreciate you. And my husband was like, thank you for picking up where I, I left off. And and so then it became this conversation. And, you know, I mean, and it's true. It's true. You know, it, it's one of those amazing opportunities. It takes that long, that long. In the checkout line, in the stores, when you're out and about, the waitress, the the person who seats you, the um, hostess, the person who makes your salsa at the table, the bed, you know, this doesn't speak any English, but he knows you're smiling at him and saying thank you and have a good day. And I mean, you know, um, that you mean well, that you, it's the heart, it's the attitude of the heart. So as we go through our life, and sometimes we have seasons of tons of friends, and sometimes we have less friends, sometimes we have too many friends, you know, kind of thing. And I was even telling my friend today, I said, I feel so guilty. I feel like I'm, because I don't have a car, I feel like I'm um, you know, neglecting friendships and, you know, I'm not getting to go and do things and check on people. And, you know, I, I, and I recognize that there are some friendships that it was a season. There are some friendships that you end up parting ways, um, either because you grow apart or they move away or you change churches or you aren't in a homeschool group anymore, or you don't work at a certain place anymore. I couldn't understand that when I had such like best friends that I worked at worked with and then all of a sudden they were gone and it was like well wait a minute hold on I'm here I'm, I'm still your friend you know but to me friendship is is an investment it is I want to love and encourage them and I'm invested I want to pray for them I want to um, help in any way I can I want to bring them meals when they're not doing well I want to support them I just thought of other people anyways guys as we look at the list of our friends how can we serve them? How can we serve them? How can we love them? How can we continue to pray for them? How can we praise God for our friends? 
Okay, friends. I know I get a little excited in these. Forgive me. I always say I'm a little verbose, which means chatty, and I get a little excited. I, I consider it all one word, though it's not. Um, I encourage you, put pictures of your friends in your journal. Um, list them out. Um, you know, do what works for you. If you need to put a whole flap on the page, put a whole flap. Um, because next to each person's name, I'm going to write a prayer request. I'm going to put, you know, uh, what I'm praying specifically for that person. And then in a season, I will add another page later. You know, maybe this is just for June. And that's what I'm going to do. This is going to be my prayer list for my friends for June. How's that? How's that for not a good idea? All right. Let's pray. Let's be sure we remember our friends. Let's make sure we praise God for those precious people that he brings into our life that love us and encourage us and just bless us and help us to be that blessing back to them. All right, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for today, God. We thank you for the rain. As I sit and listen to that thunder the whole time I'm talking and as I'm praying right now, God, I just so praise you for the rain. Lord, I pray for the places that may be getting too much rain right now. And I was reading an article this morning. I pray for safety and, and for wisdom in places like that right now. Lord, I pray that um, as we look at this week's lesson and we are thanking you for the gifts that you've given us, um, I thank you for my friends. I thank you for my friends here on YouTube. And um, that should have been on my list. I should have put YouTube friends <coughs> from from my friends here on our channel, La Familia, to my friends that have other channels that you have so graciously um, allowed me to meet and to develop friendships. God, what a blessing. What an incredible blessing. Lord, as we look at what we thank you for in our lives, help us to pass it on. Help us to bless others. Help us to serve and encourage and love and support others, those dear sweet friends in our lives or whatever it is that uh, my dear sweet friends here are putting down as their gifts from you. God, I thank you for this catalog magazine that showed up that I've never seen it before in my life and what a blessing it is. It is fitting in beautifully and for the kit that showed up out of nowhere and just all that you do, God, help us take everything that you bless us with and turn around and bless you and others with it. Help us to focus on what it is that you would have for us to do. Help us to seek your will and your way. And I pray, God, for each and every person here right now, that if they don't know you as Savior, that they will take the time to stop and pray a prayer of, of, of repenting for sin, apologizing for sin, asking for forgiveness, to ask you into their lives, and then to dig into the Word, know the Bible, read the Bible, and then turn around and serve others. God, you tell us, what are the two greatest commandments? Jesus said, love the Lord your God with all your heart, your mind, your soul, and love your neighbor as yourself. Lord, help us to do just that every single day, all throughout the day. Help us to get our eyes off ourselves and to keep them on you and look for ways to serve you better through all the people around us in our lives. Lord, I thank you for our dear, sweet, sweet waitress and the um the hostess and the gentleman who made the salsa and I, lord i pray that i will stop and ask the other people their names so i can pray specifically for them i also thank you for the dear sweet gal who checked me out at um, dollar tree the other lady in the line who was checking out people behind me the people who checked me out at um every other store the harbor freight the um the coffee shop the um uh um the little shop here in town Lord, I'm so humbled. I'm so blessed. I'm so thankful. I am so yours, God. I am so yours. Help me to serve you. Help me to love you and love others. You tell us they will know us by our love. And John, help us to be that light for you, Lord, at all times. Help us to love you. And each and every person who hears my voice right now, I pray that you will challenge and convict them. Um, I'm getting ready to start a private study on the Beatitudes, and I thought about all the Beatitudes. Blessed are, blessed are the peacemakers, blessed are the poor in spirit. We don't see each other's um, greater than ourselves, Lord. Blessed are, blessed are, blessed are. And I pray, God, for each and every person who can hear my voice today. And as I go into listing this channel's 
friends and La Familia family. I want to make sure that I pray as I go through the Beatitudes on my own. I pray that I can pray that on each and every person who can hear my voice on this channel this month of June. I pray, God, that you will touch each one's hearts and be convicted to want to read out that chapter in the Bible, um, the Sermon on the Mount, and and all that you have where Jesus' teachings took place. And I pray, God, that you will just burden our hearts to get into the Word, to study, study, study. God, we love you. We praise you. We bow down before you, and we thank you so much. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen. And the one thing I did not do, my sweet friends, and I apologize, because I always open this time with scripture, and I cannot, and remember we're on week four, page 10 and 11 in the book. At first, I didn't think of it as a gift and begged God to remove it. Three times I did that, and then he told me, my grace is enough, sufficient. Many of us know it as my grace is sufficient. My grace is enough. It's all you need. Once I heard that, I was glad to let it happen. I quit focusing on the handicap and began appreciating the gift. 2 Corinthians 12, 9. Guys, what an incredible um, opportunity in God's word to know him and to see his will and his way. All right, friends. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you did, keep it simple. The main thing is the journaling. It's the praying. It's the the honoring of God, blessing him in your life. It is blessing others through prayer. It is all of that. And be honest, when you do all that, God's going to bless you because he always does because he loves you, my sweet friends. So, all right, friends, um, keep serving him well. Um, he loves you. He's got a great plan for you. And I love you, but God loves you so much more. If you like this, like it, subscribe. It brings the channel up. It is free to you. It allows others to hear this conversation, to see this, and pass it on to someone else. And list below um, what you listed. Is it best friends? Is it your job? Is it your family? What did you list? You don't have to give a list, just the title of your list. Because there are going to be a lot of us out here that are going to be like, oh, oh, what am I going to list? Oh, what is my gift for right now? I can't think. I can't think. I'm, I, I can't think. Encourage others. That's what this channel is about. So share what you listed below. And I want to thank you guys that are listing. I'm trying to get those comments up very quick now. I That are leaving comments. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for giving thumbs up. I want to what, thank you for all our new subscribers. I want to thank you for all of our tried and true family here. La Familia. And so we are a community together of believers. And we are here to encourage each other. That's what this channel is about. Okay, friends. I love you guys. Y'all take care. Get in out of the rain if it's raining where you are, and uh, be safe. All right, guys. Talk to y'all soon. Love y'all. Bye-bye.